Hey, it's Ryan with Parts Doctor. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the water filter in this GE refrigerator. Let's get started. If the reset filter indicator light appears, it means the filter should be replaced or that water is leaking. The filter should be replaced every six months or if 170 gallons has been dispensed, or if the flow of water to the dispenser or ice maker has decreased. Some GE water filters have an RFID chip on them to detect leaks, monitor filter status, and to prevent counterfeits in the market. When using these filters on a refrigerator that doesn't have a filter reset button like this one, the indicator light will automatically reset once the new filter is installed. To replace the water filter, you'll need to start by locating the location of the filter. On this refrigerator, the filter is located on the upper left wall on the inside of the refrigerator. Once you've located the filter, depress the locking tab on the door to open it up. Next, inspect the color of the filter holder. If you have a black filter holder, start by swinging the cartridge outward until you hear the click of the cartridge holder engaging the bracket. Then, turn the filter counterclockwise one quarter turn to release it. If you have a gray filter holder like ours, do not try to twist the filter as it will damage the refrigerator. If your filter holder is gray like this one, to remove the filter, start by rotating the filter outwards until it stops. Then gently pull the filter towards you to remove it. A small amount of water may drip from the filter. If you need a new filter for your refrigerator, you can check out our website, partsdoctor.com. We'll leave a link in the description below. You want to make sure that you're searching with the model number from the tag on your refrigerator to make sure you get the correct filter. To install the new filter, locate the word front on the filter. This will need to face outward when it's installed. Then insert the filter into the filter holder until it won't push any further. Then rotate it back into place. Now close the filter door. After installing the filter, run two gallons of water through the water dispenser to remove air from the system. As the air is purging from the system, water may spurt from the dispenser. The water may appear discolored during the initial flush, but will return to normal. If your refrigerator doesn't have a water dispenser, you can purge the system by emptying your ice bin and then letting it fill up and emptying the first full bin of ice. If the water supply line to your refrigerator is from a whole house water filter system or reverse osmosis system, you should bypass the water filter using a GE water filter bypass plug which is available at our website, partsdoctor.com. So that's it for this video. If you learned something new, hit that like button. And if you like fixing things, please consider subscribing.